Join us, leave your fields of flower. Join us, leave your cheeks to sour. Join us, come and wish to our Lord. To lead you to journey, journey to the spot. Exciting, mystic and exotic. Journey through our anecdotic review. Plots to bring disaster, humor, handle my master. Own assets presented pastorally. Deleting illusion, fantasy to study. Battles, barbarous and bloody. Meisner and viewpoints. 
And in the design tech cohort, our primary focus has been lighting, set, sound, and costumes, as well as running the show. And thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoy the show. I'm sorry about what happened. I didn't even know about it until I got there. You know how my mom is. She's a complete and total control freak. The hair has to be perfect. The A's have to be straight. You have to join the debate club on that. There's no debate. You'll have Bible can every summer to keep you pure and clean. And this rules apply when you're a To be blue, there's always some competition or hoops for jumping through. Your mom's made sacrifices, so when homecoming queen, cause it's do or die when you're a So, how was therapy? You can't ask someone that. Well, sure you can, I just did. How was therapy? It was fine. Why do you want to know? Well, I have to care about what someone's up to. I'm a jerk if I don't, right? Yeah. Though, people who wear all black are usually jerks, so I don't know why you're so concerned. Colors are overrated. Says the pessimist. So, what did y'all talk about? The accident. That's why I go see him mostly. Well, it's good you have someone to talk to. You know, therapists are there to help with things I know like... what a therapist is supposed to do. My mom is making me go see him, though. I'm pretty sure she reached out to him before I was even discharged from the hospital. Well, she cares about your health. That's really special. God, everyone keeps saying that. Like she's the hero or something. I'm just some spectacle. Uh, well, hey, you're more than a spectacle. You're a runner, too. It's kind of the same thing, you know? I think you need to get your mind up. How do you know where my mind is? I think I don't. And that's the way I like it. Feeling superior, on top of the world. Aren't you frightened? <laughs> of you? Is that what you want? I don't, I don't want anything. Not from you. You know, you're... I've never met a person like you before. You don't strike me as someone who's ever encountered women before. <laughs> well, no, it's not that. It's just... What is it then? Well... I moved here from Florida a few years back, and everyone there was just so stuck and rooted in their ways. They're born and changed to fit this mold, and it's not even their fault. But you, you're so different. You don't change to fit a mold, you're, you're you. That wasn't very eloquent. No, I wasn't trying to be that. I'm me, and you're you. We have that in common, then. Which is why this calls for a game of Connect Four. What a segue. You like it? I've actually never played Connect Four. 
I tried to tell you that the other day. But... Oh, you've never played Connect Four. No, Mr. Goth Man. Never played Connect Four. Pay more attention. So, have you ever skipped school before? God, no. My parents would slaughter me for this. Good thing they don't know. Yeah. Good thing. So, my mom. Fun fact about me, my dad is dead. So, my mom told me something really weird yesterday. Um, your mom. What's her name? My mother. It's Caroline. Caroline is... Caroline scary? Or... No. She kind of reminds me of a little dog who thinks she's super big. Like a meaty dog. She tries really hard. Well, I hope you tell her that. That she's a dog in my mind? No, that, that you see her trying. And my parents, they, they never try. And when they do, it feels like it's out of obligation. Obligation. Right. I've been feeling the same way. Kind of messed up, really. I mean, why go through the painful process of birthing a slimy little human fetus if you're not going to care for it with genuine love? Wait, no, not there! Don't you want me to lose? No, but... Wait, are you trying to? Not particularly. I don't really care about the outcome. I just wanted a person to play with. The outcome's like the only thing that matters. You live in the now, Lizzie. Huh? You live in the now. It's um, what I tell myself. No matter what we feel today, tomorrow, it'll be a memory. You know, um, you never finished, what was it your mom said? Right. Apparently, this news channel also wants to interview me and ask me questions. Which seems a little insensitive, given it's only been a week since everything went down. They want to track my journey as an injured student in her final fleeting seconds of high school. <laughs> well, you're a senior. Fine hours are depleting, and so I sit, repeating, HELP! Disturbing is the fact that I'm a senior. Live in the now. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are, are you okay with your first day again? I'm fine. Pretty calm, I think. You know, night you know, uh, nightingales are my favorite. <laughs> I haven't seen one in months though, because they tend to stay away from our region this time of the month. You like nightingales? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that one right there? Oh, my God, it's beautiful. It can be. Hey, are you okay? Should I try to catch it, oh, or...? No. What's wrong? You're making a face. Oh, it's, um, it's nothing, it's just the game ended. You won? I won. You won! I did it! Oh no, you scared him off! You were screaming too. Oh, you <laughs> just like that. It's all I 
told me time. Honey, don't you understand? You're like a sun to me, but twice as bright. I'll never let you and thought I see They didn't want us. But we're here anyways. And we'll always be close enough to hold hands with you and Julie. Oh, don't make me go out there, brother. We have to. It's time. I can't do this. You can. I know you can. I can't. Do not turn away from me. Come on, we can talk about this. There's nothing left to say. Hey, we'll always be brothers, right? Turn towards me. I won't. Please, I want to see your eyes. Fine. <laughs> Look into mine. No, not. Uh -uh, not. <laughs> Fine, I'm looking, so what? So, I'll always be here next to you. And in my eyes, you will know that you are always, always loved. Do you promise? Cross my heart and hope to die. Mom's working pretty hard to get us out, huh? Can you hear her crying? Man, man. Yes, I can hear man. What's she saying? Man, man. Man, man. She's in pain. Man. It's like the mouth of a man. sailor. Do you hear Dad comforting her? No. So messed up what he whispered to us this morning. Yeah, that really pissed me off. Help me, boys. Remind me of the glory of living. I forgot to tell you, he whispered something to us the other night while you were sleeping. Are you withholding pertinent information regarding the emotional stability of this family? No. Yes, spill it. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. I wish I could protect you two, keep you from sorrow. I wish you would only know joy and splendor and beauty. You should have woken me up. I couldn't. You just look so peaceful when you sleep. Yeah, how do I look? Like these. Me, me, me. I do not. <laughs> I swear. Quit hitting. Quit lying. It's not. I'm on. It's what you look like. Yeah, well. <laughs> You want to know what you look like? Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah, she's like, she's like, oh. oh, bull. I go bull. It's not bull. It's what you look like. You, you look like a bullfrog. Uh, how do you know what a bullfrog looks like? <laughs> well, I don't exactly, but it's what I imagine a bullfrog looks like. Oh, see? We wouldn't have to imagine anything. We would know what everything looks like, smells like, feels like. Fresh bread, cumulo nimbus clouds. Come on. Mom's hands, our sister's eyes, mid-autumn, crisp air, apple pie, cider, the day, the night, girls in sweaters, the sky, <laughs> the stars, the sea. There's so much to look forward to. Also, you talk in your sleep. What do I say? Mostly, you just scream in anxiety, but... The other night, you said the opening monologue from Raging Bull. <laughs> really? I swear, Dad fell asleep while it was on the TV. It's a pretty intense thing to say in your sleep. Although I'm no Olivier. If he fought Sugar Ray, he would say that the thing ain't the ring. It's the play. So, give me a stage where this bull here can rage. Because although I can fight, I'd much rather recite that 
Entertainment! <laughs> I am so scared, brother! Me too. I'm scared too. Did you fart? <laughs> no, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Classic. We're gonna come on a bloody and disgusting and covered in afterbirth. Someone will wipe us off. Well, what will air feel like in our lungs? Hold that person, then so natural we'll never think about it. What if it's too bright? Our eyes will adjust. What will love feel like? You already know! Do I? Of course you do! I'm still just a little worried about original sin. Too late. As descendants of Adam. Stop. As a consequence to the original Stop, sin. Brother. This transgressed hereditary strain. It's time. <laughs> the greatest act of courage is to love. And anyone who says otherwise is a dumb dumb. And are you a dumb dumb? No. So, let's be courageous. Go and love our time every single moment of it. What time is it? It's show time. What time is it? Show time. I can hear you. It's show time! <laughs> Brother, it's time to go into the reality of experience. Cool. <laughs> so, who goes first? You. No, I didn't see. It's after you. I couldn't possibly. I couldn't I'm not asking. Okay, fine. Here we go. But, uh, Promise you'll come out right after me. Yeah, I'll be right behind you. Good. I don't want to be alone out there. Don't worry, you won't be. So, see you later? Yeah. See you later. Or I could go 
crazy. It's true. Sometimes life is insane, but crazy, I know I can do. Cause crazy is perfect and messed up is perfect. some fellas to... and so they are. Um... Hard for some fellas to what? And so they what? There are people who care about you, Phil. 
There are people, friends, people you know who don't want anything other than to know you're okay. It's like a miracle you're even here right now. Don't you see that? We'll give you whatever you want. We'll give you time and space to figure things out. You can go out to the farm and- It's not that, Meredith. What is it then? I've been alone in this town for too long for you to not tell me what it is. The war comes and we lose everybody. And we all have to be, so we are, all of us. Even June Whitley and Miss Fulton and me, little Meredith. All the girls in town, you see. And now that their husbands have come back again, they've all turned into cats. And I'm the one they talk about because my husband isn't dead or wounded or missing. He just hasn't come home yet. And I haven't known what to do with this. This fellow on a bus not long ago, he was, he was talking at me. And he asked me if I had noticed how hard it was to find good places to eat along the road. And I said that I had. And, and he said that he was going to build a whole bunch of new restaurants all along the highway. All exactly the same, so no matter where you went, you'd get the same great food. Is that so? He said that the word of the future is big. There are lots of words for the future. He, uh, he, he said that now is the time to, to move on big ideas or, or to see the world move on with them. It's all talk, like anything else. I don't, I don't have any big ideas. I don't care if you do. I just, I, I, I just feel so behind that no amount of running could ever catch me up to. Well, maybe you just stay in one place for a little while. I was, I was, Meredith, I, I was, you I, were trying to that's why I was in the hospital. Because, because I, everything just seems so wrong. I don't care what you've done. I can't explain. You it. don't have to. The, the world, it just, it just keeps moving on. It just keeps moving on, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Whether we're ready or not. I just thought that between going over there and coming back, that I could just have a minute, just a minute to take a breath somehow. I thought every single one of us could just have a minute to let what we've been through sink in. It's okay, Phil. You don't want to just leave me. So maybe you could, maybe you could find someone who wasn't. Who wasn't what? Who wasn't so broken? Can I, can I put my arms around you? It's just, you're so young. I don't feel it. You're so full and pretty. You're not used up like that. I haven't had quite enough heartbreak yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! Don't you see? I just feel like I might have enough if you go away again. I can't promise that now. I'll take a maybe. I'll take a night and a day so long as it's just a night and a day full of maybes. So, a night and a day? And maybe then another? Maybe. And one day maybe even yes? Just say yes, though it's easy. Maybe. Say yes. Just say yes to me. It's me. Say yes to me. Say yes to me.
about yourself as it is discovering about Bansy. You understand? Why does it have to be about me first? I said so. What is this? It's a letter? I can see it's a letter. It's from my mom. She wrote it for me from when I was 18, but I opened it early. You can read it if you want. Dear Billy, I know I must seem a distant memory, and that's probably a good thing. It will have been a long, long time. And I will have missed you growing, and I'll have missed you crying, and I'll have missed you laughing. your stomping and your shouting. I'll have missed telling you off. But please, Billy, know that I was always there. I was with you through everything. And please, Is everybody gone? Pretty much, except a few cops who are still interviewing witnesses. <laughs> I think I'm lying in creamed corn. <laughs> Robbie, why don't you get out of there and go home? You're just upset about Linda. You're gonna feel a lot better once you meet someone new. I'll never meet anyone new. <laughs> Not in there you won't. <laughs> so tonight you made some mistakes. I'll admit but I hate to see you like this Down on your luck, down in the dumps The hope may seem in short supply You have to move on You have to try So come out of the dumpster Don't leave me standing here Come out of the dumpster it's okay, the coast is clear, the cop cars are leaving. 
cigarettes, lasagna, monkey, forest, Yeltsin, the novels of Charles Dickens, everything about dad. What about him? Um, dad, you feel all right? Yes, I do. Honestly? Yes. I think it was the right time. If there ever is the right time. Do you know what you want to do now? <laughs> no. You want to stay here? I don't know. You want to go back to school? I haven't really thought about it. Well, there's a lot to think about. How do you feel? Physically great, except my hair is super unhealthy. I wish there was something to do about that. Come on, Catherine. What is the point of all these questions? Some police officers came by the house this morning while you were in the shower. Yeah? They said they were just checking up on things here, seeing how you were. That was nice. They said they responded to a call from the house last night. Yeah. Did you call the police last night? Yeah. Why? I, I thought the house was wrong. But it wasn't. No, I changed my mind. <laughs> Katie, they said you seemed disoriented. It was the middle of the night. I was exhausted. <laughs> First, you call 911 with an emergency and you don't even give them the right street number. I didn't have to, it wasn't a real emergency. I mean, they drove all over Hyde Park. Luckily, you were the only 5724 South anything. I didn't really want them to come. Why did you call? Because I had to get this guy out of the house. Who? One of Dad's students. Dad hasn't had a student for years. No, no, he was one of Dad's students. Now he's a mathematician. What was he doing in the house in the first place? Was me coming to look at Dad's notebooks? In the middle of the night. It was late. I, I was waiting for him to finish up and 
Uh, I thought he might have been stealing them. Stealing the notebooks? Yes. So I told him to get out. Was he stealing them? Yes, that's why I called the cops. What was this man's name? Hal? Harold? Harold Dobbs? The police said you were the only one here. That's because he left before the game. With the notebooks? No, no, Claire, don't be stupid. There are hundreds of notebooks, but he was only stealing one, but he was stealing it so he'd give it back to me, so I let him go so he could play with his band on the north side. His band? Yes, he, it was late. He wanted me to come with him, but I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> Is Harold Dobbs your boyfriend? No, no, no. And he's in a band, a rock band? Uh, no, a marching band. He plays the trombone. Yes, a rock band. <laughs> Did he tell you the name of his band? No. Harold Dobbs didn't tell you the name of his rock band? No, I don't know. Uh, they played last night. Check in the newspaper. They have a song called imaginary number that doesn't really exist. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to understand. Is Harold Dobbs- Stop saying Harold Dobbs. Is this person. <laughs> Harold Dobbs exists. I'm sure he does. He's a mathematician at the University of Chicago. Call the math department. Hey, don't get upset at me. I'm just trying to understand. I mean, if you found out some creepy grad student was poking around the house trying to steal that papers and you called the police, I would understand. And if you were here drinking, partying with your boyfriend, I would understand that the two stories don't go together. That's because you made up the partying story. I was here alone. Harold Dobbs wasn't here. No, he, he was, but I wasn't drinking champagne with him. Then who were you drinking with? No one. Are you sure? Yes. The police said you were abusive. Said you were lucky they didn't haul you in. Those guys were jerks. They wanted me to fill out a report. Were you abusive? This one cop kept on spitting on me. It was disgusting. Did you strike one of them? They were trying to come into my house. Oh my god! I might have pushed them a little. They said you were either drunk or disturbed. They were trying to come in and search my house. You called them. Yeah, but I didn't actually want them to come. And then they did come. And they started acting like they owned the place. They were shoving me. They were smirking at me. They were calling me girly. They were jerks. These guys seemed perfectly nice. I mean, they came by the house while they were off duty after their shift to check on you. They were very polite. Yeah, well, people are nicer to you. Would you like to come to New York? Yes, I said I'd come in January. If you come sooner, it'd be fun. No, I, I don't want to. It'd be really fun. No, thank you. I'm okay here. Chicago is dead. New York is so much more fun, you can't even believe it. The fun thing is really not what I'm looking for right now. I think it could be a really fun and safe place for I you. don't want a safe place, and I don't want to have any fun. I am okay here. You look tired. I am. I, I think you can use some downtime. Downtime? Some rest? I'd like to help. Some rest? Who, who do you think I am? Elizabeth Taylor? Please, Catherine. You've been through a very hard time. I am perfectly okay. I think you're upset and exhausted. I was fine till you got here. Big thing. It all started out as this tiny thing uh, with friends, and now I'm expecting it to solve my career, my finances. Whoa! You can't expect this show to be your golden ticket. Yeah, but you act like you don't care even if it is. Of course I care, but I'm worried that if I let myself get too close, I can't handle being rejected. You know when me and my brother were 10, we made a show called Ace of Death! Ace of Death? Yup. We had a poster and everything. It said, when? Saturday. Where? The living room. That's amazing. Dancing in the backyard, rolling stashes and butterfly wings. Andrea McCardle singing from the hi-fi in the den. I've been waiting my whole life to find a way back to Sky, a nine-year-old can see so far. I'll conquer the world, be a star.
I was trying not to scare you. You failed. Completely. I'll do better next time. The party isn't for two hours. Oh, I thought maybe I could help with the cake. No, you can't. Then I thought maybe I could keep you company. You could, but I don't want you to. Ouch. Two hours, Kenneth. Hey, did I forget to tell you that your Queen Lear was triumphant? It was really sweet of you to see all eight performances. You know, I had to cancel an emergency root canal so I could see the Sunday matinee, and I passed out for the third act, but was able to rally in time for the heat scene. My mom only saw one. Opening night? No, she was too sick. Uh, the Sunday matinee? Closing night. Legendary! Magisterial! She couldn't have seen a better performance. I hate when people pretend it didn't happen, or say and name things like, if there's anything I can do. Yeah, there is. Bring her back. Right. Bring her back. People say I have terrible timing, but do you want to go to prom with me? Kenneth? I know you've told me no twice, so why would I ask again, right? Insanity? Hope! No! A thousand times, a million times, I will never go to the prom with you. So I should stop asking is what I'm hearing. Go home until the party. But I have to set up in the tail of the donkey. Which takes two seconds. But then I'll just be next door, on the edge of my bed, waiting to come back. And you'll have something to look forward to. Would you open my present before I go? Because I'm a generous person, yes. It's a goldfish! <laughs> I see that. You know, you did that incredibly well presented and illuminating report on goldfish in school, and I thought maybe you'd like one of your own. 
I said that goldfish have a three second memory span and that life would cease to have meaning if you couldn't hold the shape of its order in your mind. Oopsie. I'll just take him back to the pet store where he'll die a horribly painful death. What? Otman is what those of us in the pet industry know as a feeder fish. Larger carnivorous fish will eat him for dinner or lunch. Or between meals, late night snacks, food chain circle of life and whatnot. Otman? The Sanskrit word for self. Not a personal self, but the divinity within yourself. Heck of a name for a goldfish. The Kata Upanishad was the first to use the concept of Atman as a concept for liberating yourself from human suffering. Uh, I quote, and please forgive my basic translation. Like fire spreads through the world and takes the shape of that which it burns. The internal Atman of all living beings, while remaining one fire, takes the shape of that which he enters and is at the same time outside of all forms. Anyways, I'll get him out of your way into his execution. You can leave Atman here for the time being. You said goldfish only have a three second memory span. Could you imagine that? Three, two, one, boom! The world begins anew. I miss her. I don't understand the world without my mom. Every day takes me further away from her, from her voice, telling me everything will be okay. Just checking, but you're still sure you don't want to go to prom with me. Stop, Kenneth. You're embarrassing yourself. But I don't feel embarrassed. Go. See you in one hour and 56 minutes. 60, 59, 58, 57, 56. Hello, Otman. I'm Ernestine Ashworth. Nice to meet you. Or, I guess, to meet the divinity within myself. It's my birthday. I'm 18. I'm 18 today. And this is my proclamation. I will get out of this town pilgrimage toward finding my place in the scale of the universe. You're my witness. 